you can start with the rectangular marquee tool all you have to do is with the tool you have to drag and select a portion of your image the marquee tools are used for selection you can see i have selected a small portion on the image and then i am going to take the move tool and drag and place my selection on a new file to resize you can apply free transform i will show you how to do an inverse selection firstly you have to take the rectangular marquee tool drag and select a portion of your image and then right click and select inverse now you can delete by pressing on the delete button in your keyboard whichever portion of the image you don't need on your new file i'll show you once again you can right click inside the selection and select deselect or you can press ctrl plus d on your keyboard with the elliptical marquee tool you can make selections that are oval or circular in shape you have to select the tool from the marquee tools you can see i have already made some selection so i am going to deselect by pressing ctrl plus d in the keyboard and i am going to take the elliptical marquee tool and make an oval selection on a small portion of my image i have taken the move tool and i have dragged and placed this selection on my new file you can see that i am resizing using free transform the single row marquee tool and the single column marquee tool are used to make selections that are 1 pixel in size it works just like the rectangular and the elliptical marquee tool you have to drag and make a selection you can see that with the single row marquee tool i am able to make a selection of 1 pixel size in horizontal direction with the single column marquee tool you can make a selection that is vertical in direction The next set of selection tools are the object selection tool, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. With the object selection tool, you can drag and select an object in an image. So here you can see there is a cup and saucer in my image. I am going to take the object selection tool, drag and draw around this object. the moment i release the left mouse button you can see that it has made a selection around the object the magic wand tool is used to select portion of the image that have similar properties or characteristics i am going to take the magic wand tool and click outside the object on the background which is white in color so you can see that with the tool i am able to select the entire background because it is of similar color to select more you have to press shift on your keyboard and you have to click again what i did is inside the selection i have right clicked and i have made an inverse selection in order to select my object and i've placed this object on a new file using the move tool you can see there are small portions of the white background still left out in this image you can take the magic wand tool and select more of the white background and you can press delete in the keyboard The next tool here is the quick selection tool. This works like a brush. So all you have to do is take this quick selection tool and paint over the object just like how you would use a brush. With the quick selection tool, you can make a more refined selection by using the option select and mask in the options bar. you can also specify a feather value feathering is to make the edges of the selection little softer but if you don't want to make the edges softer you don't have to give any feather value in the feather text box here when you open the select and mask dialog box you will be able to see many brushes like this 
The second brush here is to make a more refined selection. It works something like this. When you click select and mask, you will be allowed to change the view. Change the view to overlay. And then you can make a more refined selection like this. Let me show you once again. Select overlay in view. Take the second tool out of the many brushes that you see and you can paint more inside your selection to make a more refined selection and then click on OK.